picking up lunch for the family. Um, today I am learning. Uh oh, I set the uh, drink down. Forgive me, y'all, real quick. I'm learning this dumbass camera, y'all. Like, I don't know how you um, people do it. I, I've been. It's so convenient to um, film with my cell phone. Like, I can directly import everything from here right onto my app. My everything's there. My music. I'm just gonna have to switch gears because. Um, <clears throat> my phone is crowded like i take a lot of pictures um most of which i do not post but i take a lot of pictures i take a lot of video and like it's just messing with my memory so i went ahead and invested you guys know some time ago into a camera took forever to get here um got it and now i just do not know how to use it so i'm gonna spend some time um you know watching videos and um learning how to get the best out of my camera I am leaving Chipotle. Came to get the family something to eat. <clears throat> but yeah. Um, let me think. Okay, so what I came on here for. Yo, <laughs> okay. It's a lot going on. It is a lot going on. And I don't know where to start. Some days I don't feel like picking up this damn camera. Because I be my mood my mood will be bad i'll be cussing because life is not going well for your girl so in the month of february i made zero dollars i made zero dollars because i did zero work <laughs> i did not work on um investing at all last month last month was short um we had that <clears throat> crazy winter storm beginning of the month you know when you start the beginning of your month you're like okay i'm at ground zero i'm gonna plan it out i still got time right and you're so optimistic but every time you keep putting it back you know um <laughs> that's another day you've lost and i'm learning that i'm learning that i have to be more proactive and stop telling myself i have time so i've been taking care of things in the midst of that I do not drive my truck a lot, um, just the way my garage is made, and it's it just getting cars out is just so crazy to me, so I don't drive it a lot, but when I pulled it out, it started doing something weird, like jerking and doing something so strange. Anyway, long story short, I told it to my uh, guy who fixes all my cars, I need a whole motor for this Range Rover, and I was like, how does that happen? And he said it was, you know, nothing I did. It just, it malfunctioned and it happens. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So how much does that look like, guys? $9,000 for the motor, uh, $3,500 for the labor. You know, big, big, big ticket price. Um, but you know, um, I'm taking it on the chin because I do own a luxury, a really luxury vehicle. <laughs> and, um, you know, you got to pay the cost to be the boss. Um, whatever. So, I got to, you know, fork up, what is it, almost $1,300, $1,350, dollars I mean, for um, parts and labor. And, yeah, <laughs> um... I also, my husband's Corvette is coming in next week. So, luckily it happened like this because now I'm going to have to just sell something. I'm going to have to sell, I can sell my Mercedes and I can pay for, easily pay for um, that Range Rover uh, job with no out of pocket. That car, I've, I've had it since like 2011. That Mercedes, it's time for it to go. I rarely drive it so much so that it <laughs> the battery dies on it all the time because I just don't start it up, it's just sitting there. I left it sitting in the Airbnb parking lot for like months, and um, yeah, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna spend this week um, getting it cleaned up, getting an inspection on it, putting a new sticker on it, um, yeah, and I and I'll sell it, I'll let it go for like 15 grand. And, uh, yeah, I'll take care of my car. Um, 
you know, put some money in the bank since I did no work. Who does that? No work for a whole month. Yeah, and so I, l luckily for me, there's a ram in a bush. Um, you know, we have savings, but luckily for me, I don't have to tap in anything. I can just move things around. So that's why, you guys, I'm so strategic in my movements and things like that, just so I could always have a plan A through Z. I can't, you know, just sit here and figure it out or, you know, use credit, like, and mess up my debt to income ratio fooling around with life. Um, but anyway, yeah, so um, that's why you see your girl looking a mess. Like, I haven't been <laughs> vlogging, I haven't been on camera. Um, I am taking care of business, and uh, now I gotta learn this, learn this uh, camera so I can get off my phone and get my life back. <laughs> but yeah, so today I'm gonna learn my camera, and I'm also gonna do some work. I need to work, I need to get back in the habit of working, I need to get my life together. It's the first. I'm newly optimistic again, but I'm not going to say, oh, I can do it tomorrow. I can do it tomorrow. It's a Monday and it's the first. So this is a good starting point for me to get myself back together. But I will see you guys um, in the next clip. Just had to catch you up on that. And um, I'm sure some more drama, but that was the biggest thing was just my truck, y'all. Oh, my God. But, yeah, I'll see you in the next clip.